<laughs> right, I won that game one. Game two, I was winning, and then all of a sudden it was just like, nope, you're not winning anymore. And then game three was complete destruction. So, we're, just, we're gonna see Blanc here with the slime controller. Is he using it? Yeah, yeah, he is using oh, it. Oh, he is using the slime controller. Yo, shout out to my man, Blanc. Oh man, I actually want to use that thing. Yeah, it, it seems I'm comfortable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him about it. I wanna, I wanna try that out because you know I'm a pro controller user myself. I know, disgusting, but look at that. Look, it, thing. It, it's nice and blue, <laughs> and it's just like you can, when you're in between games, you just put them down. Yeah. But anyways, here we go. Game number one. I don't think we're seeing a hand warmer. Yep, right into it. Blanc using the Falco. Albo rocking the Wii Fit trainer. Falco, another one of those characters I feel like kind of has a bad. Depending on who you ask, this character is either like busted or like a piece of garbage. Yeah. And I feel like he's both <laughs> at the exact same time. Falco's one of those characters where he's good, but when things are going well, he is like amazing. Yeah. But the second you get hit, you're like, man, this is like the worst character in the game. No, I feel you for sure. So we had, uh, you know, I'm Otters. Yeah. He also plays Falco. He plays all the spaces, but his Falco has been doing really well for him up until our weekly we had last Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, Secret, who I think is supposed to be here today, finally figured it out. If you don't approach Falco at all, it makes it so much harder. You see how much he can get off of that up tilt? Yeah. But you have to be actually near him for that up tilt to hit. So we'll see what Albi does here. But right now, the play for to beat Falco is to definitely be patient. Yeah. Wait for Falco to, you know, try to get overly aggressive and approach you and then just mix him up because he he has no options to approach. But Albi's playing a really dangerous game right now with those soccer balls. For We're sure. seeing Block either reflect or parry every single one of them. I hit that sun salutation reflect. Finally landing one soccer ball. Let's see get four there. Yep, I think he DI'd right into the blast zone yeah. there, unfortunate for him. LeBlanc striking first, and Albi striking right back. Another soccer ball. And Blanc is doing a really good job of either just parrying these projectiles or just hitting the soccer ball right back at Albi. Look at that. It was 51% off of that one interaction. And people tell you Falco is bad. I mean, he is. He is. <laughs> but he's also not. Yeah. It, it's hard to describe Falco. Falco is like... Falco is like Domino's Pizza, you know? Like, is it good compared to your local place? No, but it's it's like eight bucks for a large, and <laughs> yeah, uh, and it's there. You can make it work. It's there. It's always you know? there for you. Falco will will never abandon anybody who plays it. Yeah, that's a odd way of putting it, but you know what? I completely understand what you're saying. Characters in Smash are just like pizza in general. Like, oh, yeah. At least in this game, like even when they're pretty bad, they're they're still kind of good. Honestly, I feel that way about basically every single character in this game. Yeah. Anyways, right now, dead even game right there. I'm not sure what move that was. I might have been forward so coming through. back air. Was the back air? Back air at a shield. Okay. Forward air. And these guys are just going stock for stock, hit for hit. This is like, I feel like as even of a game as we're going to see all day. Up tilt. Up tilt. Here we go. And here we go. Woo! That was what length? 40, 50% He's still like going. <laughs> And He's the man still is still going. going. <laughs> he got like 70% off of one interaction, and it's Bro. still going. Falco hits you with one up tilt, you're in an unskippable cutscene. It really is. If you put this if you put this Falco in Smash 4, he'd be one of the best characters oh, in the game. Easy. Easy. But the thing about Falco is, because the disadvantage state is so bad, just like this, he'll let you right back into the game. Back Ooh, here, good tech from yeah. Albi. Going for the- Oh, beautiful tech from Block again! Here we go. Looks at that down air on stage, and he got it. And game one going to block. That last like 30 seconds of the match was insane. It was nuts. And the big thing there is Blanc making sure that number one, he didn't overextend himself off stage. Yes. Falco's recovery, not good. Yeah. And then those techs, the execution there to pull those off, come back on stage, keep that stage control. You know, he, so he upbeat, right? Yeah. Did he mean to do that upbeat or was it buffered? We'll never know. No. But he was smart to go back to center stage so that the, you know, Albi had to approach him. Mm -hmm. And what I've said, like the entire first game is when you're approaching Falco, you're losing to Falco. Exactly. And I feel like in situations like that, people are so concerned with not dying. Yeah. That they start playing a little bit too safe. And I feel like them playing not to die is what ends up leading them dying. If that makes any sense. No, for sure. But Blanc 
and Albi for that matter, both kept their composure. And that was a really close game. That could have gone any way. Yeah, Smash right. is definitely one of those games where you don't want to play to not lose. Yeah. You know, playing to win is always the optimal strategy. I know that sounds stupid, but... It sounds stupid to say, but I know what you mean. Yeah. People are so scared of, like, getting hit or getting edge guarded that they play it way too safe. Yep. And, they and they're too concerned with surviving that they don't realize, hey, you also have to kill your opponent to yeah. win. Bro, imagine, imagine getting three stars and you're just in survival mode the whole time. Yeah, it's unfortunate. That's, that's one of the most, like, anxiety-inducing things in the entire yeah. oh. game. <laughs> okay, I thought he yeah. doubted the ball back into it. <laughs> that would've been nasty. Right now, again, another dead even game right now. I'll be missing that down air. Good near out of shield from Blanc. Getting himself from stage position. That reflector coming out a little bit too late. And no, who has three soccer balls in a row? Yeah, Blanc Ooh. is getting hit by that. Is that a soccer ball or a volleyball? Medicine ball? I don't know. I just call it a soccer ball. Yours. That's a medicine ball? No, it's a it's a medicine ball when you get deep breathing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. There we go. Forward air, first stock going to Blanc. But he is sitting at 144. One good hit. There it is. That forward tilt coming through. And that move is so good. The B forward, forward tilt. tilt. Yeah. It's, I don't know what frame it is, but that thing's fast as hell. Hits both forward and behind. It's crazy. I love watching Wii Fit as well. It just... Wii Fit is like the essence of Smash to me. You know, people people point to characters like... Oh, no. 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 He's good. He's good. Blanco's going in for a second. Let me stop. I was definitely about to say something stupid. Let me just talk about what's going on on the screen here. Okay. I'll be in sicko mode right now. Oh, I think man. they go for that down tilt instead, trying to catch the two frame, but yeah. Walk is doing a great job with his recoveries so far. And especially as Falco, it's so hard to recover because everybody knows what you're going to do. Yep. You, they know you're going to side B, jump up B, or whatever. Oh, no. Oh, no. What just happened? Deep breathing way up top, near the top glass one, doesn't matter how, but... That's um that's something you can catch a lot of Wii Fits with. They think they can just deep breathing whenever you want, but Falco's got hops. He's got ups. Highest He's jump in the game. There. To my knowledge, highest jump in the game. I think so. 64% on Blanc right now. I'll be trying to maintain this lead. Still slowly building it, but we know this is like one up tilt away from being all tied up again. The forward around the shield there. There we go. Okay, opting for that safe forward air for just the safe damage. Missed that second up tilt though. I thought he had that. Yeah. The hitbox on up tilt's really odd. The horizontal hitbox on it isn't that great. Oh no, here it is. Here, oh, here it goes. Wow, and see, imagine now imagine if that was Fox's up air. Hey, <laughs> good read off the ledge. Look not enough. The That's not enough. Falco sucks. Loki. And this is this is actually a lot closer <laughs> than it seems. Yeah. They're just both trying to <laughs> near him back here at a shield here. Deep breathing. That's really bad for Blanc. Let's see if Albi can take advantage of this. Up till up air. Couldn't get it. Jump away from Albi. Oh, yeah. And this this could be really, really bad for Blanc. He's, he's going to want to. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, there he is. And Stoss is popping off in the background. I was about to say, he might want to wait out that deep breathing because there is a lot of pressure on his shield. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying, man, sometimes. I know it's hard because he's Falco, right? It's like you can't really pull away. You can't just like run away and reset the neutral right there, but it's hard. Yeah, great job by Albi to recognize that Blanc was not really in a position where he could provide a lot of offense. Yeah, he can he can hit you with an aerial out of shield, but unless that's back air, that's not really killing you. Yeah. So it's like, like I'm gonna pressure this man. Let's let's do it. Like Falco's out of shield options other than Nair aren't the greatest. Yeah. And Nair it can kill you, but it from center stage and won't. So yeah, that's good recognition of Albi for Albi to kind of uh, pressure Blanc's shield safety, knowing that his other shield options weren't that great. But anyways, we're going right into this game number three, Town and City, and look at this conversion from Blanc, 48%. And that could have been a lot more. Exactly, could have been a lot more, but he's still going. But again, Albi has to be careful with how he's playing these soccer balls right now. You know, aside from that, aside from that one really like sort of nutty thing that that Blanc did with the soccer ball, we really haven't seen Albi get punished too much for using it. Yeah. The main thing is like 
just landing on top of Blanc. That's what's exactly. really killing him because those up tilts, those up smashes. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh wait, falling go. fair into down smash. I'm telling you, bro, that's a mix up. And, and another the down smash to catch the two frame. Good job to Blanc, but Albi is right behind. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. He's still going. He's still going. Hold on. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lord. Jab oh lock. Oh, God. couldn't get the second jab. I know he wanted that down smash so badly. Folks, we're seeing the beak at its peak right now. Blanc is popping off right now, man. That was <laughs> Those two stocks were better than anything you've seen all set. I'm My God, out of breath after this. Only if he wins, though. <laughs> Only if he wins, yeah. Because, listen, I, anything is possible. Kevin Garnett said that. <laughs> this is still doable for all of you. Oh, yeah, I know that sounds stupid, but... We fit's dumb. You're never so far ahead from Weefer where she can't come back. Jesus Christ. Maybe. Oh, he got hit by the lady. I don't know what Blanc on, ate, down. <laughs> but my man is going off right now. It's the slime controller. Man, this is grimy. It's, it's a combination. Yep. Yeah, it really is. Of, of, of so many things. But yeah, this, this set really did just take a huge momentum shift. I think we're a little bit back to normal. Yeah, but, but don't get count. I'll be out. Yeah, oh, no, down there. There yeah. we go. Unfortunate SD for Albi and Blanc takes that set 2-1. Man, I know that was an SD, but the way Blanc was playing, I don't know what happened between game two and game three, but he looked like a completely new player.